Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the stream. It's Tuesday. Yesterday I did a nice long stream. We watched videos, we played video games. Today it's going to be a little shorter, but it's going to be just as fun. And we're starting with the dailies. Yes, sir. Bandle. People miss it. People talk about Bandle. They want Bandle. This released in 2000, 200 million, 2000. It's a medium and has 200 million views. Let's see what we got. Two thousand. The only song I can think of that this kind of sounds like to me is um No Air. Do you know the song I'm talking about? But I think that's way too late. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Two thousand, huh? What was popping in two thousand? Shit. Like in sync or some shit. Two hundred million views, kind of low though. Synth. Skipping. God, I hate that. Why is it so discordant? Not only do they use weird chords, it ends at a weird point. Ugh, it makes me sick. Ah! One more time. Shit. Oh, no. You stands. Hope you are having a great Tuesday. Thank you, Arctic Matty. Dude, uh, what? What is this? What is this? What is this? I swear I'm getting worse at this every day, every week. No par, no par, no par, no par. Oh my god. It's it's gonna be me. Fuck. Literally, it, it took one note, one note right there and we got it. Oh man. <laughs> that's crazy. I knew it was in sync too. I just couldn't hear it. Yeah, that's all I needed was that run. What let me hear it on let me hear it on this one. There's no way I get it with just chords. Could I have got it here? No, there's no way I get it on three either. Uh, next is Food Guesser. Yeah, I actually don't feel bad. I found that very difficult and then I found it very easy. 
<laughs> it's crazy how okay let's get the let's get the vocals I was in my head, I was trying to go between, at first I started with no air, which is way too late. And then I thought, no scrubs. And I was like, it's just not right. I got nowhere, I got nowhere. Ugh. I feel like it's almost easier without the voice, but that's just me. Ladies and gentlemen, get your gambas in for Food Guesser. Slightly over par. Hey, even T Tiger Woods sometimes shoots a bogey and still wins. What are you gonna do? How many days are in this month? Is this a 30 or a 31 or it's a 30 year? Oh, I got bills to pay. Ah, shit. You went nuts on food guesser today? Nuts? Is that a hint? Sometimes that song takes so long to end and play a new one that I think my shit's broken. <laughs> Never is. It never is, man. Get your guesses in and food guesser. I don't wanna I don't wanna see what it is. I don't wanna leak. But I do think I'll do good. I went nuts. Sexual on food guesser today. <laughs> Weird, man. I think you know how they have like those um shapes, call it like a hexagon or something, and you have like arrows of the magnitude of like what you're into. I'm willing to say it hand to God right now in front of you. Food play makes me sick. <laughs> I don't, I, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Food is so far from sex to me that it's like I, I do not cross those streams. Food is for eating. <sighs> Did you see you were in the first 18 seconds of the newest Colin and Samir video? Uh, I think someone linked me. Let me check. Hold. This one? Just ask their audiences to pay for things. Sometimes it goes well, and other times it doesn't. Today on the show, we're gonna talk about an example where it didn't go well, where the creator's audience got really upset. And it's one of the most talked about examples we've- Yo! See, this is why I need a haircut. I look like dog shit. I look like they pulled me up and it's like, well, who's the homeless guy in this video? Get the fuck out of here. Now, I, I have never been more sure that I need a haircut. Crazy, 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 crazy. You guys are trying to keep my hair long seen from a group of guys with a youtube channel damn i got a i got a long cut there they they gave Seth. it to me and it's one of the most let's go about examples we've seen from a group of guys with a youtube channel wow i made it to the top of the stack what's crazy is colin and samir can't stop talking about me legal legal can't stop talking about me the yard can't stop talking about me hello top of the stack is huge ladies and gentlemen let's play some food guesser Hold me. Put this right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, maybe. Pumpkin, rice, dried fruits, nuts, honey, cinnamon, sugar, nuts. Uh, someone in chat leaked sugar and butter. Uh, okay. Pumpkin, rice, dried fruits, honey, cinnamon, sugar. All right, I'm fairly confident that this is North or South America. I would guess either U.S. or <laughs> fucking Peru. <laughs> I think I want to guess United States pumpkin. This, this, this feels cinnamon, sugar, butter. USA. United States me. Its origins can be traced back to medieval times. Well, never mind. Ice cold. Or is often prepared as a symbol of abundance and prosperity. Its name is derived from a word which means made in a decorated pot, referring to the elaborate presentation of the dish. The dish is traditionally served during special occasions and celebrations. The thing about ice cold is ice cold helps you maybe even more than hot helps you. You know what I mean? All right, medieval times. Well, then let's get let's get fucking medieval here. Like let's go, let's go Poland. Let's go Germany. I'm still cool. Okay, Southeast. It's called Gapama. Oh, what the fuck? India? <laughs> okay, hello. It's between, it is equidistant between Germany and India. Uh, fucking, I don't know. Romania? What? 
<laughs> Where the fuck am I? Hello? East of Romania, southeast of Romania. What about what about Turkey? Borders. Gapama. It's from Armenia. Oh, shout out to my coworker Dan, who is proudly Armenian and has never told me about Gapama. It's a traditional Armenian dish that's prepared during special occasions such as weddings, New Year's, and other festive events. Interesting. It's derived from the Armenian word gop, which means made in a decorated pot. It's a symbol of hospitality. Well, that's cool. Oh, shit. All right. Well, 1400 is not good for me. This is oluko beef, traditionally alpaca or llama, red onion, garlic, aji amarillo, aji pan panca, tomatoes, cilantro, and potatoes. Okay, well, this is South America, right? Uh, potentially Middle America? Aluko. Alpaca or llama? I kind of want to say, like, Argentina. Is that crazy to me? Cilantro? Mexico? Argentina? That rice a little fucked up. White rice? What are you, what are you doing here? Oh, there's a second picture. Sir, a second picture has hit the... Damn, this looks like Chinese food now. It does look really good, though. Kind of... Hmm. Give me Argentina. I'm warm. North me. How far north? Panama. <laughs> south. South. Straight south? Southeast? What about Peru? It's not Peru. Peru. Fuck, I said Argentina or Peru, and then I didn't guess Peru second. That's fucked. That's fucked. <sighs> Alukito is a traditional Peruvian dish made with aluco, a tuber vegetable native to the Andean region. The vegetable is known for its distinctive bright yellow to orange color and waxy texture. You don't want to describe a food as waxy, in my opinion. It's prepared by sautéing the aluco with onions, garlic, and aji amarillo, Peruvian yellow chili pepper in a pan. It's often served with meat such as beef or alpaca. All right. Llama was a giveaway for Peru. Yeah, that's why I said it, and then I just didn't do it. I just didn't do it. I was cringe. I should have 4,500, but I'm a goof. Final round. Onion, beef, bacon, apple, cloves, vinegar, sugar, salt, pepper. Uh, ooh. You know, I was going to say the UK because it just looks like sludge, but honestly, this looks like French cuisine. <laughs> Straight up to me. This looks like, uh, this looks like France. Onions and beef, bacon, apple, cloves. Wait, is it counting the mashed potatoes? I'm going France. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Hello? North of France, but not the United Kingdom. Netherlands? Belgium? What the what the fuck are we doing here? This doesn't look like garbage food to me. This looks great. Oh, I forgot you could read some shit. It's called Hachi. While the exact origins of this dish are unknown, some sources suggest that this dish may have been influenced by cuisine of a neighboring country during the 17th century. It's believed to have originated in the northern regions of its country, where it's commonly prepared as a hearty and filling meal for farmers. Hachi. Rui Hachimura. What? Hachi. What even language would that be? That's very close to, to France. Um, I want to say the Netherlands. <laughs> this language does not look right. It was. Hachi? Wow. It's a traditional Dutch dish that consists of minced meat, onions, and potatoes, typically seasoned with salt, pepper, and various herbs. It originated in the north, where it was for farmers and laborers, served with vegetables. It's derived from the French word for chopped or minced. This is some French shit. They literally stole this from France and are pretending it's theirs. That's fucked. I, this, this is so French-pilled. It's so French-pilled, man. That's fucked. Oh, wow. And Yeah, these are my two guesses. All right. Fair enough. I got 94.20. I got foodie. 
Average score, I beat the average, but barely. I should have done better on Olakito. I should have got 500 more points, but that's it. I think I was sub 10k today on this one. When I really think about it. You thought it was from Belgium? If it wasn't, the Netherlands, Belgium was my next guess. Just looking at a map. Hold. Yeah, I mean, because we it has to be north of France, but southeast of England. Honestly, it should have just been east of England. Especially if it originates from the north. Like Groningen. Kind of fucked up. Kind of fucked up. You were so pumpkin-pilled for the first one. Yeah, I thought... I have this thought in my head. And that was that pumpkins came from South America. <laughs> We're going to learn something today. Yeah, North America 9,000 years ago. They did. They did come from uh, North America. So I knew this about pumpkins, and it did not help me. How the fuck did they get to Armenia? <laughs> Where do pumpkin seeds come from? No stupid questions. That's a, that's a stupid question. Have you never seen a pumpkin? They're inside. There's so many. There's literally hundreds, if not thousands of seeds in a pumpkin. <laughs> Close that picture. All right, food guesser is over. It's time for the mini. Tomatoes do too, but it's very Italian. Yeah, but like, I, because I know that, potatoes, tomatoes, this is some South American shit. Oh, they got me. They boom me. They boom me, man. Pumpkin guts make you nauseous when you smell them. You know what makes me nauseous, even though I like them? This is actually going to let you know that, hey, take my score on the Rad's R and bump it up 10 points. Cherry tomatoes that have not been cut make me want to vomit. If you have a cherry tomato and you bite into it, I will literally full body convulse. But if you cut a cherry tomato in half, I love it. I love it. I eat it. I eat it all day. It's not because of Lord of the Rings. It's just like I don't like it. I, as an elementary school child, I like bit into one maybe. had a bad experience. Ugh. It is weirdly specific. I told you it was specific. Ugh. I love not only a cherry tomato that's been cut, but a cherry tomato that's been cut and like stewed. Like you cook some cherry tomatoes in your pasta or something. That is so good. But I do not like it. I, I do not like it <laughs> if it's been, uh, if it's full, full cherry. That's me with olives. I've been into one thinking it was a grape and now I'm scarred for life. Oh, that sucks because olives fucking rule. It's such a great food. It's like, let's take this delicious thing and let's soak it in oil, which is good. And salt, which is good. <laughs> God, I love olives. I used to throw them into the pool from the garden, then swim to the bottom and pick them up with my mouth and eat them. That's so much chlorine. <laughs> That's so much. Olive haters, you can rise up, but just know that fucking your mom will pick you up from school at three, you child. They're delicious. I thought I hated olives for years. Turns out it was the nasty red shit in the middle. <laughs> That's so funny. A nice pan roasting of them and then press them in the pan to build your sauce base. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. I want to grow some tomatoes. I, I really want to get back into gardening, but I've been so busy. I grew a bushel. I think actually a bushel is a real measurement, so I shouldn't say it. But I grew so many carrots. I ate carrots. My niece ate carrots. I gave Sophie so many carrots. And I felt accomplished. I grew peppers. And I cut some up and put them in my food. And they were mid. But you know what? I felt good. And I just have not had the time to get back in. And it's the weather's perfect. I got to get my crops planted. I got to get them planted, man. Maybe I'll do a stream so that I have an excuse to do it. Because I, I just... It's very frustrating. That this thing that I enjoy, I'm not able to do. All right. You guys ready for the mini? Let's do a puzzle. God, cucumber is so dog shit. Worst, worst. Technically a fruit, right? Seeds, seeds inside. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Ladies and gentlemen. I gotta pause. I gotta pause. I gotta get my brain moving. Gotta get my brain moving. Plasticity, plasticity, plasticity. 
Everything must go event. A sale. Lowest pocket pair in poker is twos. Uh, is a chatty caddy. Kathy? Um, I don't know. Cook as in cookies. Bake. Brewery offerings. Beer. Uh, total bargain. A steal. It's not beer. It's a brewery offering is something else. Ales. A L E S. Uh, what is this one? Degree for corporate exec, MBA. What could this one be? Is it Chatty Cathy? I don't know. Uh, Awoke. What is this one? Home improvement chain, Lowe's. Sorry, Lowe's. Uh, and then letter missing S. What was the middle one? 34 seconds. Meows? Oh, Chatty Cathy. <laughs> Kill yourself. Who did this? Joel! I should have known Joel was back. Whenever I'm pissed, it's Joel. If I do a puzzle and it's like, dude, I hate everything about this, I scroll up. Hey, welcome back from vacation, Joel, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Oh. I think the, the course <gasps> correction from beer to ales was huge, though. Huge. <laughs> Styles, think of the 33 months. Joel, Joel, Joel. God damn it. Good puzzle, though. I'll take it 34 seconds. Wait, why is Sam editing Joel's again? Joel is usually a one-stop one shop. He's got to get back in the habit. Whoopi Goldberg style. I've never been a cucumber like that, but I once got in my girlfriend's car with a cucumber and a knife and just ate the whole thing. What? I truly can't even comprehend enjoying the taste of a cucumber. Does four down not make sense? S. It's the letter missing from this clue. This is, this is S. Twenty-five k on Spangram first. Do not let me down. Oh, we're doing Spangram first again. I actually thought the time gamble yesterday was really good. Mods weren't here. Oh, mods weren't here. Mods, not today, but last time for strands. What we did was solve the puzzle in four minutes, under four minutes. Solve the puzzle in four to seven minutes or whatever, and then seven plus. Yeah, you don't have to do it today. I'm just saying. I think people really enjoyed it. I think people really enjoyed it, man. Straight up, straight up. I think they, I think they enjoyed it. Oh. This was is an easy one. I mean, yesterday I found as an easy one. New photos, memory. Rochelle and me in 2023. Oh, it's us going to Japan. Oh, that's sick. My hair in Japan looks great. Sucks I was so depressed. <laughs> it's an easy one today. All right, man. Hey, you know what? Don't set expectations so that I can fall below them, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, strand season. Pour it on. Pour, pour it on. Pour it on thick. Pour it on juicy. Pour it on. Uh, you, what do you pour on? Lotion. What else do you pour on? Uh, tzatziki. Wait, really? What is that sauce called? Wait. Tzat... Tzatziki. Dude, is that in here? Ziki? Tzatziki? How the... <laughs> what the... Oh, shit. 826. Rip. Shit, YouTube. Twitch isn't here. Hello? What a hell? Someone following while it's in 826 mode is so funny. <laughs> Slava Lama, what are you doing? What is this? I'm gone forever. Oh, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. What a long one. That sucks. Oh. Refresh. We're back. Sorry, I was just telling you how smart I am. I know. Satsiki has to be here somewhere, right? We have Ziki. What is the sauce you put on Mediterranean food? Right? What about teriyaki? That could be some good shit, too. Is there a Y? No. Z. 
Tzatziki. What about just Tiki? Poured on. Sad Peyote. Thank you for the 14 months. Pestilence, thank you for the prime. They said white boys can't have long curly hair, and god damn it, they were right. That's what I've been saying. They're trying to keep me down. All right, what is this? Pour it on. Crack. Pour it on. Hey, pour, pour it on. Pour it on thick. Pour on the compliments. Pour on the tzatziki. Uh, pour on the... The chutney. Dude, why am I so sauce-pilled? I swear to God, I see tzatziki and I see chutney. And neither of them are right. Shoot. Okay. Puke. Um... Okay, what else do we have? Pour on... What if it's cheese? The Munster. Shit. Okay. What if it's... Pour on... The Zaza. Oh, no. No, 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 no. How about... One of my favorite movies as a kid. Dunstan Checks In. Which I would be scared to... I would be scared to, to watch on stream again. Do you spell it like this? You do spell. I knew it was there. I knew. I knew it. I knew it was there. Okay, so it is just sauces. Uh, what else would you call this? If it's not sauces, it is. Oh, is there horseradish? I feel like I see something around here. No. No, there's no ish. Charisma. Char. Chars. Sriracha. Sriracha. Okay, so now we know it's north to south. It's it's sauce. What else would you fucking call this? Con condiments. Pog you. Sriracha me. Uh, mayo me. Ketchup. That's not how you spell ketchup, dude. Can I? Can I? I've held on to this for a long time. We learned. We got it drilled into us. They were hitting our fucking knuckles with rulers. C A T S U P. C A T S U P. C A T S U P. I, it's like a re education program. They would hold our eyes open and make us do C A T S U P. C A T S U P. And I don't know. I don't know what, what, who told us that. Teachers. I swear to God. Every single teacher, that's how you spelled it. And then one day, they stopped using real tomatoes so they couldn't call it that. And now it's K E T C H U P. I don't know what to tell you. This is Yuma, Arizona, man. I'm not, it's not crazy. Uh, give me the aioli. Wait, how do you spell aioli? Aioli. <laughs> uh, and then mustard. Easy puzzle. No, not K. It's C-A-T. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It was catsup. This is how they told us to spell ketchup. Ketchup or ketchup is a table condiment. I'm telling you. It used to be spelled this way. As it turns out, they're the same thing. They're both westernized terms for a condiment that has origins in China? This is a modernized version of fish sauce? This is just tomatoes and salt. Hello? Weird. Ah. It, it was big in the 1960s and 70s. Weird. All right. I'm just saying that's how we spelled it back then. Get your connections, Gambas in. I think I'm on like a five-day streak of perfect connections, by the way. I feel like I've been absolutely owning this game. Brooke, thank you for the gifted. And 50 total. That's crazy. Crazy. Oh, the streak ends today. Get your bets in. If you think the streak's going to end today, then put your money where your mouth is. That's all I'll say. Got to get that 30 gifted for day 30 of April. Oh, is today number 30? I respect it. I don't even stream every day. That means you're gifting offline. <laughs> Which is crazy. Wait, is there no Gamma? Oh, I thought the Gamma was going. Oh, mods are gone. Uh, I saw Steven out in here earlier. Aethar said she was cooking. Uh, start prediction. One second. I got this. I got this. I got this. Connections. Perfect. Solved. Failed. Two minutes. 
Get your bets in. Today is World Honesty Day. Be honest. Do you hate believers? No, I love believers. I hate doubters. I would win every single gamble if I could. I would. I would. Then why did you pick Zatsiki first? Because I wanted to see if it actually was. You know what I mean? It just it felt good. It felt right. I am a blue-collar Twitch streamer. The thing about me is I don't like exploiting other people's labor. You know what I'm saying? So I just I just go in here and do it myself. I just do it myself. And the time connection was brought up to now. I looked at it and finished connections perfect. Oof. Oof. Thoughts on adding a timer to connections? Good. I feel like timer in strands is easy, yes. I, timer in connections, I'm not sure. But I've never done it. Never done it. Don't know. One minute left. Get your gambas in. The connections and strands creators collab today. Don't say that. No. We're going to have sauces. Now I know that there's a sauce connection. Were you guys alive when they tried to make green ketchup and purple ketchup a thing? There was... There was a time. I remember having a birthday party and it was it was pog as hell. This was a food flop. People were, were losing their mind about this colored ketchup. But I think adults hated it. I think kids were like, that's cool. It looks cool to me. Slime sauce. Someone made clear ketchup IRL I saw on TikTok. Now clear ketchup, I don't know about that. I don't know about that one, bud. Ladies and gentlemen, connections time. Let's connect. Ranch, statement, cattle, broth, bill, grill, barbecue, question, ancestry, examine, receipt, marinara, probe, aioli, merchandise, invoice. Interesting. I mean, hey, we did just do sauces and we see this. It's, uh, it could be barbecue, ranch, marinara, aioli as like a sauce gambit. Let's try and do some other ones. You could examine. You could have a statement. You could have, I'm thinking of, oh, things that you would find at a store, a bill, a receipt, an invoice. Oh, no, 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 A statement, an invoice, a bill, and not a receipt, though. I mean, kind of. Oh, wait, shit. This is messing me up, man. This is messing me up, man. Ranch could also be like the opposite. It could be ranch. You could have on a ranch. You could have cattle. Stuff like that. Examine. Grill. Probe. And question. I feel great about that one. There's no universe. Yeah, that one was something else. Great. Okay, ancestry. What the fuck? An ancestry? Also, aioli almost assuredly has to be a sauce. Unless we add a letter. <laughs> Words with only one consonant. Ancestry.com. Ancestry report. Ancestry. What the heck? Barbecue. Broth, huh? Soup broth. What the, what the, okay, I think the easy one is actually just sauce. <laughs> Where does broth fit into this, though? Marinara, aioli, ranch. I just am worried about cattle. Cattle prod. Cattle pen. Cattle graze. Bill. A bill, a receipt, an invoice, and a statement also makes sense. What is merchandise? New merchandise, ancestry. What the hell do we have here? Barbecue. Give me my sauces. Sauce me. Dipping sauces. All right. I mean, I feel like even just using... The difference is one of these we use... 
Ancestry, Broth, and Cattle for sure go. So it's one of these goes with these. And I think it's merchandise because we have an invoice, a bill, a receipt, and a statement. Yeah. All right. Transaction record. So what is this one? Prod, Ancestry, Report, Merchandise, Broth. What is this? Broth, chicken broth, beef cattle, beef broth, vegetable broth, cattle ranch, cattle stampede, merchandise. Whoa. Oh, Roth IRA. No, that hey, we're overcooking. Ice merch. Bro. Oh, cats. Cats could be something. No. What do we have here? Double T's. What the hell do we have here? Merchandise. Don't touch the merchandise. Ancestry. Ancestry.com. Broth. Vegetable. Meat. Beef. What if it's like feed, no, not like feed cattle. What do they call those? The ones that they, they fatten up. <sighs> Ancestry. Merchandise. Honestly, I don't know. What stock might mean? Oh my God. Oh, what a great purple. Holy. That's, I, I love the way they use that clue. They, they boomed my ass. Yeah, if you come from good stock, it's like a fucking old racist British way of saying that, like, it's white people all the way back. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's crazy. <laughs> they got me. Good purple, bad puzzle. Uh, yeah, the rest were kind of boring. The rest were unbelievably easy. The purple was just good. Damn, that, that's actually, I think that added a new tool to my arsenal for connections. And I respect that about it. Let me pay out. Uh -uh -uh. Oh, I just meant you had a good family. Yeah, but I, the connotation for good stock uh, historically has is a loaded term. You know what I mean? Because at that point, you would say, like, what's bad stock? And it turns out that it was almost always racist. I'm not saying always, but a lot of the time. All right, complete that. Prediction. Start a prediction. It is time guesser. Under 30k. Greater than 30k. Greater than. I'm going to get crazy with you guys. 37.5. Greater than 40. And then greater than 45K. I'm going to get crazy with you guys. I'm going to get crazy. I'm going to get crazy. Two minutes. Get your predictions in. <whistles> Highest takes precedent, obviously. It's not like the bottom one always wins. Ladies and gentlemen, I also have something made by someone in the chat that we Hello. need to watch. Thank you for attending my presentation. It's a video called, Is Stan's Mr. 40K? And I want you to remember that yesterday I did bink a 45K. Today we're looking... Oh, so quiet. So, so, so quiet. So soft-spoken. ...to some of the data behind if Stan's is actually Mr. 40K and Time Guesser. I am. I had some open questions. <laughs> is Stan's taking too long on Time Guesser? No. Does taking more time mean you get a better score? Yes. Does he read chat during Time Guesser? No. And will we finish Disc Elysium one day? <laughs> Why is that in there? That's obviously a no. Hopefully some of these questions will be answered today. <laughs> I made an Excel sheet. What the hell is this? That calculated how long- Wait, there's no way that my average time in Time Guesser is 40 minutes. We spent on each Time Guesser day, and also the score that he got. Wow, looking at that generally, no, my average is 39.625. Add the new ones, add the new ones. This is, oh, this is all of March and April, not all of April. 
his average time guesser score for all of March and April so far is actually 39,625. That's so, so close. So he's Mr. 39K. We round up. We round up in 500s. Everyone knows that. Mr. 40K. And according to Ludwig, that means he's the same skill equivalency as 30K. Yeah, Ludwig would say that because Ludwig is Mr. 30K, buddy. The average amount of time that he takes on oh. his time guesser attempts is actually 30 minutes and 50 seconds. 30 minutes is cute. Which is a fair amount of time, but actually shorter than what I was expecting. Yeah. It's hard to really quantify this and see how long this is actually unless you compare it to other streamers or other people that do it, but I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I was going to say it's not that hard. Just fucking watch some streams. That's so funny. Longest and shortest? The longest attempt took over one hour on April 5th, and he still got below 40K. Come on. On April 19th, he took just eight minutes, and that was because... Uh, Time guesser didn't load on Chrome. He had to do it on Firefox, and he was also rushing to complete it and do the dailies. So I'm a hero, is what you're saying. With cans. What, this is a what is this? What is this picture? Hello? You can't just take funny pictures and and present them with your data. This doesn't fly in a scientific journal. Adam, think of the prime. Part that I had plotting the time. Wait, is there no correlation whatsoever with time taken? This looks like the flattest line of all time. In fact, it might have a negative correlation. I'm taken and the time guesser score. Uh, one of the questions I had was maybe if he spent more time on games, he scores higher, and if he spends less time, he will do worse. But as you can see here, there isn't really a clear correlation. Not yeah, we need more of, data. But I also failed stats class in university, so I'm probably not the best person to answer that. <laughs> you took a stats class, you're better than most. Here's also a chart of his time guesser scores throughout March and April. You know, it looks a little weird because he skipped a few days. And I don't know why PowerPoint cut off the x-axis, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of scuffed. <laughs> Last message for all the gamblers, if they're trying to learn from this presentation, your beans are meaningless. Wow. Thank you for attending. Hope you learned something. <laughs> he didn't even do... He set his theses out here and he didn't answer them. Does he reach out during Time Guesser? No one ever knows. Will he finish Disco Elysium? No one ever knows. What the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, let's prove him wrong. Let's prove him wrong. We got his ass. We, hey, we got his ass. We got his ass. Uh, this is... Ah, the Fair de Paris. You're, easy. We have a Norwegian flag. We have a French flag. We have uh, helmets. This is the Tour de France. Right by the Arc de Triomphe. Okay, well, they gave me literally the easiest one in the world. Because presumably he's painting what he sees. So we go to the Ark on a Lark. Now, he also sees a round-topped building. Round top me? Well, don't. Sorry, don't top me. You guys kind of know what I mean. Wait, is this a different arch? Where's my round top? There's a statue. Is it farther away than I think? Oh. Oh, he's way farther away. It's that, right? Or that? I guess it's not that far. Along some trees and shit. Where might where my thing go? What are these buildings? This is the Jardin du Theater du Rompont. Of course. This doesn't feel right. All right, could we be on the other side? No, that looks like shit. What? Where's my mans? There's like a, there's a lion and a prancing pony. Oh? No. No, no, no. Where the fuck is this? I mean, I think I'm just gonna guess. The street's so big.
The problem is there's no trees blocking it. But there's this stuff, so I don't think it's this. This is also a clear roof. But I don't think it's this either. Shit, I have no idea where the hell we are. What if he's just... Dude, what if this is in, like, Argentina and he's just drawing France? <laughs> what if he's just a grimer? He's looking at it head on. No, no, they are going across the arches that way. Oh, so they could be on another major street. They could be, like, here or something. A street that bisects that is also large? Not really. And you know what? I think I'll just put... God, that seems way too far. That seems way too far. But I'm going to do it right there. All right, and in terms of time, he's painting. There's got to be a, there's gotta be a year, right? Fair de Paris. Something. On a jersey, maybe? Can I tell by the bicycles? Official tour. Australian flag. Phone, phone. Digital camera makes me think earlier. Ooh, many, many digital cameras and less phones. Oh, interesting. Is this much earlier than I think? Holy sweat. That's a phone though, right? That's a phone. That's Digi. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. The problem with digital cameras is they're kind of coming back in vogue. But they're coming back in vogue for like teenagers, not for these people. I could be way off on year. But man, I want I want to guess pretty early. Like a 2014 or some shit. Year signature. Oh! 2008. Yes! Yes, dude! I was going to guess 2010, so that's great. Uh, that's so sick. That's so sick that we got there. Holy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's a 9996. Come on, dude. You won't give me that? It was further back? Oh, you're so cringe. You won't give me a 50k for that? Oh, this building is this building. All right, I'll take a 9996. Whatever, dude. I don't even care. I don't even care. Castle with a castle picture. Um, woman. Car. Oh, dude. If Is this one that's going to fuck me if I don't know what this shit is? It's a, a running fox or dog or wolf. Checkered pattern. And this is... Wait, is this three kangaroos? We're in Australia. <laughs> we might be. Uh, day and night cycle. <laughs> how, how much do I think these are kangaroos and not three dogs? <laughs> I think I might play it safe and go with dogs. Uh, and look in Europe. Early 1950. This is like 1950. Where am I? Right? 40. I just need to get a, a, a vibe for the cars of the time. Yeah, I'll call this 1952. Truly, I I don't really know what's what's what here. I have a, a castle with like a mosaic top castle, a church with a mosaic top, beautiful, with three dingoes, and I got 463 dingoes in chat. If you know what I mean. Oh, what does the sign say? Sick. Clock.
Do not enter. Is that American? No. Woman. Wait. Is this a castle or is this more dogs? Does this does this church love dogs? Dog, 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 dog. At first I thought this was a castle, but look at it. I I know his ear ear. This is a dog. With three trees. What? The only thing I know that's checkerboarded is Croatia. <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go Croatian here, man. <laughs> this feels risky. So I might just go London. Yeah, yeah, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. I'll go London. It's fine. Where would they put a church like this? In Camden, now it's kind of kind of low skyline. I don't fucking know. I'll be honest. I don't know the junkyard golf club. Probably not that. Could this be part of King's College? No. I think this is probably just a straight up fuck it moment. The Cathedral School of St. Savior Mary? No. Kind of good vibes though. Let's just put it <laughs> deep in the heart of central London. That'd be goofy. Let's just put it up here. It's all fucking goofy. It's all goofy. It's all goofy. I'm just gonna go right there. I'm gonna say 1952 right there. It was Croatia. I said Croatia out loud. I looked there. Oh, I had it. I said checkerboard equals Croatia and I didn't commit. Fuck. That's brutal. 63. A little later. Okay, remember that these cars are a little later than that. At least in Croatia. Croatia famously loves dogs. St. Mark's Church in Croatia. The tiling on the roof represents the coat of arms of Zagreb. Shit. Damn, I should have trusted my gut. I should have known that they would only put a little piece of flair in there. Okay, well that hurts me. That hurts my score badly. Uh, license plate. Rome. <laughs> Sorry, something, something. What the fuck am I looking at? I'm not, I, don't, I don't see shit. The... I can't read. Fon, fontant. Fon, fontant. If, if fontant. What are these flags? I'm, I'm actually tilted from Croatia. I need to... Let me regain. Let me regain. I'm tilted from Croatia, but we can fix this. This is the lowest quality picture I've ever seen in my life. Driving on the right side of the road. Okay. Hold me. Is this a human? It's a st okay. I do think Rome is kind of good vibes. I think that says Roma. So fuck it. Give me downtown Rome. In an area where maybe there is some business. Hmm, building's a little too short. Ooh, this doesn't feel good. Uh, 
I just feel like the buildings aren't tall enough. I'm gonna be thinking about Croatia for the rest of my fucking life, dude. Yikes. I'm gonna go right here. And honestly, these cars look the exact same. <laughs> <laughs> These cars look the exact same. Yep. Nice. Nice. Oh, okay. We're back. We're back. I think we're on an 8K average now, even with that fucking flop city. A street scene in Rome. It was just a street scene in Rome. Nice. It was uh, more east. That's fine. I'll take that. Losing 70 on location, losing 50 on year. Uh, it was 1960. Sick. Okay, I have two more to get 16. This is going to be hard, but we can do it. $100. We'll buy this car. Must have cash. Lost all on the stock market. This is Black Friday, 1929, 1930-something. Uh, I mean, this, this has got to be New York, right? Where else would there be in the stock market? Give me Manhattan. Give me the financial area, which I think is down here. Where's the finance people? Hello? East Broadway. Does that say Beastie Boys Square? That's cool. Is this not where money is? Federal Plaza, Target. Um, Hello, where's Wall Street? A walk down Wall Street, you know? Actually, I have no idea where Wall Street is. I thought it was the southeast side of Manhattan. Park Avenue. Times Square. Could it be up here? Was I just way wrong? No, this is like where people live. Rich people live. Okay. Jerry Seinfeld and Cosmo Kramer apartment? But they filmed in LA and I learned that in a time guesser. Could it fucked me to be clear. Where the fuck is Wall Street? Oh, financial. It was it was further down. My god, I was just further. It was just further. The New York Stock Exchange. Broadway. Wall Street. Here we go. That's small. Give me right here, Broadway and Wall Street. Uh, okay, these are some old ass cars. Thirty-two, thirty-one, thirty. These cars look a little too old. I think thirty. No, 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 no. The Roaring Twenties, and then in twenty-eight, things went downhill. Things went downhill, man. When was the when uh, the Great Depression and shit? I don't know. Nineteen sixty-eight, huh? Did I say twenty-nine? <sighs> Bless the fuck up. It was on the license plate. It was on the license plate. It was just a little further down on Wall Street. That's chill. That's chill. That's chill. That's chill. Damn. If I didn't have the worst day of my life, uh, we'd be we'd be fucking crushing. Keep Britain out. Okay. Well, I was gonna say Ireland, but is this just Australia? Is that how that works? We must prevent nuclear war. Okay. Great. Keep Britain out. The next war will be the last. The Angel Mid something. Midhurst, Pentworth, District Time, Portsmouth e's Evening News. Portsmouth. They're in Portsmouth. Where the fuck is Portsmouth? In my mind, I'm Australian pill, but I'll go check the UK. I'll, I'll take I'll take a fucking minute here. <laughs> not not going to stop me, because we're going to get it. We don't need that much. Portsmouth. Okay, maybe maybe that's not the flag of where I thought it was. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Portsmouth. Plymouth? Keep Britain keep out. Well, they wouldn't be in, in Britain. Wales. Well, no, wait, what is Britain? Fuck, this is England. Shit, what is, what is Britain? Uh, up here. Who does not consider themselves? Oh, no, where the fuck is Portsmouth? I mean, we have the city. This guy, this uh, double decker, double decker. What the fuck? Oh, keep Britain out of like the Cold War. They're in. They're in Britain. I see. 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 And they just don't want to join the war. I think. Midhurst, Petworth, District Times, Portsmouth Evening News, Petworth. Portsmouth? Where the fuck is Portsmouth? The Kings upon Thames, Brentwood, Crawley, Brighton, Eastbourne, Hastings, Dover, Deal, Portsmouth. Ladies and gentlemen, we got their ass. Now where's fucking Midhurst? Is it a part? Hold. South Sea. City of Portsmouth College. They might be doing it by the college. That would be that would be flames. Tangier Road. Uh, or downtown. Kind of a big city, man. Mudmore, North End, Copner. Is there anything? There's trees. Uh, Alright, here's the good news. They're driving on the left. So this is either... I'm either in the right place or it's fucking South Africa. Could it be South Africa? No, 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 no. What is that? Does their college show on their shirt? The Angel Mid... Midhurst. The Angel Midhurst. Where's fucking Midhurst? What does even a Midhurst mean? Midhurst. Portsmouth. Midhurst? Am I the goat? They're just cruising. They're just cruising. Hey, where's the angel? The angel's still there. I believe it. talking about though <laughs> can I ask that because it's not like they can keep Britain out of like World War II because they were they were getting bombed <laughs> so is this the Cold War is this fuck I could be really bad on the year I could be really really bad on the year here uh, these cars Slightly older than the last set, so we would say early 50s, maybe? Also based on their clothes. If I just guessed, like, 1952, would I be fizzucked? Maybe even earlier. 49? We must prevent this. Skinny belts. When were skinny belts in fashion? Get the menswear fashion guy. Also, look at this giga chat energy. A bunch of fucking dudes. Oh, there's a couple women. And she's not only doing it, she's mogging. She's leaning back, chest out. She's got the Arthur fucking meme flexed hand. <laughs> she's straight up, she's about to throw hands at this protest. Haircuts, haircuts, haircuts. I'm gonna go 1949. This is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it. Oh 
Oh no. My location was perfect, but it was 62. Has it been 62 three in a row? Don't do this to me. The, the things look so different. The things look so different. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Got him! You can't fucking stop me, baby. I'm Mr. 40K for a reason, dude. That's a 45 into a 41.6. Yes, sir. The New Zealand flag threw you off? Yeah, but you just gotta look at it. Look at where they're driving on the side of the road. Look at the double decker. Look at the name of the city. Find it on the map. Let's go. Oh. <sighs> Britain, aka Great Britain, refers to the island. So Britain consists of England, Wales, and Scotland. The United Kingdom also includes Northern Ireland. Okay, got it, got it, got it. We drive on the left in Australia and New Zealand. Well, good thing I didn't know that. <laughs> Side of the road is the same. I thought it was just the UK and South Africa. <laughs> Oops. It would make sense that you guys do. Ooh, the kid was cooking. Uh, what's with these titles? I don't know what the titles are. I'm going to refresh and see if it's funny. New content alert. How long can I go without saying a slur? I don't think that's, I don't think that's funny. Mods? That's cringe. I don't think slurs are funny. I said this on Binge and Cringe so many times. I don't, I don't think this whole thing of like, oh, that's a Seamus Hot one. Seamus Hot, not funny. Not funny. I don't like it. I don't like it. This one wasn't me. Wow, both of you pointing at each other. Hello? It had to be one of you. That was Midnight. Midnight, I, I love Midnight. I think Midnight's a funny guy. I think Midnight has bad titles. Half his titles are like, I committed SA, lock me up. And it's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell? I don't like them. I don't think I, I don't. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them. Boop, 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 boop. Um, we should get YouTube out of here while we're doing this. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Ladies and gentlemen, Mister Forty K lives. They told me a white boy can't have hair this good. They're gonna kill me. That's funny. <laughs> But that's also a compliment. Of course, I'm going to like that. YouTube, get out of here. I'm staying live on twitch.tv slash stands. 